What's up, YouTube? Wormwood. Semen retention and body care. Coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I want to tell you, I'm going to tell you something. They don't want you to know this. That the majority of Americans are starving to death. Starving to death. Yeah, you see this guy over here, he's 250 pounds. He's starving to death. You see this dude over here, he's he's 290 pounds. Big, big dude. He's starving to death. He's starving to death. Everybody's starving to death if they don't know how to eat. See, here's why. Look, listen. Food, as we all know, I just got to go over this. Food, when you eat an apple or a plum or some chicken, when you eat it, you're not just eating it so that you can feel good and your stomach can get heavy. What happens is the chicken or the apple or the plum, the, the nutrients, it gets separated from it and then the nutrients break down to vitamins and minerals, amino acids and all of that stuff. And then it goes through your body to the places that it needs to be. And all the rest of the stuff that, that has no purpose, like the mass of the food, it's, 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 it's eliminated and waste. You hear what I'm saying? So we eat so we can get the nutrients in our body. Not so we can get full. When my brother got shot for like a whole two years, he was on boost and, and he had a G-tube. A G-tube is the thing where they got to feed him through the stomach and stuff with like liquids and stuff. He had a G-tube and, um, because he had a trach, he couldn't swallow and stuff. He had a G2. And my mom's and the, the nurse and my sister and them used to give him this solution that that has uh, all of these vitamins and minerals and stuff. Just like on, on the Matrix when, when they was eating that, that slop, that Marto milk, cream of wheat looking stuff. Neo was like, what is this? And the big dude, he was like, it got all of the vitamins and nutrients and all of that up in it. You see, no matter how that looked, it had everything up in it. No matter if my bro my brother was eating a burger or whatever, it, it don't matter. He was still surviving, just like on the Matrix with the people on the ship. That they, they were surviving off of nutrients, meaning that nutrients is what keep you alive. That's why we eat, so we can get the nutrients out of it. Everything else is waste. So you got that right now. No witchcraft food has nutrients in it. What is witchcraft foods? Foods that's created by the corporations. Everything from Twinkies to donuts and in between. Also the fast food. Anything that's fast food doesn't have nutrients in it. Half of it is plastic. Remember, you could keep a burger for 20 years. You see, if it doesn't have a certain breaking down bacteria and all that, it's not real, man. Taco Bell, McDonald's, all of this stuff. It, it, it's not real. Now the impossible meat is even more not real than the not real stuff. Now they about to make some stuff in the lab that's even more not real than the impossible that's not more real than the regular. So now we're going all the way down the long line of starvation. Because... If these foods that I said, with the sodas and the lemonades and the juicy juices, the ice creams and the, all these, all these witchcraft foods, if they don't have nutrients in them, and 90% of the American diet come from this hot dog type of spam type of stuff, right? And they not got no nutrients in it, right? This guy right here just ate McDonald's and then he ate a donut, then he drank some stuff for today, which means he didn't get no nutrients for today, right? And he might be a truck driver and he might do it for a whole six months, right? So that's six months without this dude getting nutrients, right? You hear what I'm saying? You following what I'm saying? Why the Amer a majority of Americans are starving. This is why Americans are going crazy. Mm -hmm. Just like me, just like you, just like us. But you don't know it. Why? Because remember... The greatest trick that the devil ever played was to convince everybody he don't exist. This starvation don't supposed to exist, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how. 
I'm going to show you how it exists. I'm showing you, right? How this guy right here just ate some pancakes, which have no nutrients in it, which means it's all waste. Nothing was broken down. You hear what I'm saying? He ate some sausages. Well, if they pork, that's just waste anyway. You hear what I'm saying? And he drank some apple juice, which is not real apple juice. It's high fructose corn syrup, water, food coloring, and flavoring. And it got, oh, oh my bad. It has 2% juice up in it. 2% juice. That's the stuff that evaporate before you even open it. The 2% juice is, is the little drops of evaporation on the side right before you open it. So bam, he drunk, he drunk some apple juice. Yeah, I'm, I'm healthy, I drunk some apple juice. And I ate some pancakes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I ate my sausages. So he four. You can't tell him he's starving. You're supposed to look like you up in some third world country if you're starving. Is what I thought. <laughs> Let me go over the signs of starvation, right? I got them wrote down right here. Chronic fatigue, always tired. Just, 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 just listen to this and tell me, do you and a lot of Americans suffer from this? And if you do, you better listen up. Chronic fatigue, mental fogginess, slower healing time around injuries and sicknesses, you see, that's why a lot of people not getting gains because when you work out, you injure in yourself and in the inside. Now, when you rest and you heal, that's when you get slow and you make gains. But if you starve and you have slower healing time around injuries and sicknesses, yeah, but I'm saying injuries. In the inside, you're injured when you do a lot of push-ups. You, you're literally injured. Your muscles is ripped. And if you're starving by eating these witchcraft foods, no wonder you're not making no gains and you look the same all year. Depression. Don't everybody be having depression nowadays? Anxiety. Lots of people with anxiety. These things, these things didn't exist. These things did not exist in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and damn near not even in the 80s. Trouble sleeping? You got trouble sleeping? You have chronic fatigue, mental fogginess, slower healing time around injuries and sicknesses, depression, anxiety, and trouble sleeping. You might be starving without even knowing it. You hear what I'm saying? You can you it don't matter how your how your body look, how your body all swollen up. That's just from the salt, the sodium and all the preservatives up in the food. Yes, it's going to make you look fat and big and full like they do with the pigs and the cows. They feed them the same thing. For real. Mm -hmm. Big bodies with no nutrients in them. Starving. So it doesn't, it doesn't have an effect on your immediate self right now unless it's those signs that I just, I just mentioned. But what happens in the long run is why you have cancers. Remember, if you're starving, you can't heal. You, you, it's slow healing time around injuries and, and sicknesses and stuff. Because your cells isn't getting what they need. Because you're starving. But you, your stomach is. You feel good. Your dopamine levels are up, huh? You didn't trade it in your dope. You didn't trade it in your kidneys and your liver and your spleen and all that stuff for a Big Mac with some fries. And everybody want to say, hey, man, this person is so they so. Man, you better stop eating that stuff. If you're eating an apple, you get more nutrients than the guy that's eating the whole pizza. Now, he's going to get fuller than you. But you're going to be able to wake up more times than him in the morning. And he's going to be sluggish. He's going to be sluggish, man. You heard the other video of why I said the witchcraft foods was created. It's to feed the candida, your body get yeasty, all of the yeast and all of the mucus. And this is an environment that the low, 
it, it, the low vibrational entities live up in. <laughs> they create an, an environment like you want that fish right there, that saltwater fish. You want it in your house inside of a tank. You can't just go and get the fish and put it in your house and put it in the corner like a dog. You got to create an environment for it. And that's what they did. You the fish tank. And the sharks. That's what they placed up in you. The starving. That's why everybody is it's going weird. Right? And nobody ain't ate no real food since the early 2000s, man. Since the $5 foot longs. Remember all them? Five dollar foot longs, five dollar little Caesars, five dollar to five dollar era. That was like the last of the food. They knew that they was running out of food, out of real, real food, real nutritious food. Around the time you start hearing about tofu and vegans, but everybody ain't go for the tofu thing. They even tried to have the rich people push the tofu. And then people like Dr. Sabi came out. You know, God blesses us, man, because people was falling for that tofu. Like it was some. They ain't had no more food to feed us. All the food is GMO and gone. And now they want to play like uh, the tofu is the new thing. Y'all remember when tofu came out? The tofu craze. Look, it's gone. That's because it wasn't from the Most High. They realized that it was a lot of soy up in it, giving man breasts and women cancers and stuff, building up too much estrogen up in men. So they dumped that. You know what I'm saying? They dumped that. <laughs> Ain't got no more food, man. The illusion of food, the big the Big Macs and the freaking de fries. You feel what I'm saying? But the real food, the nutrients and stuff, it ain't no more nutrients like that. If it ain't got seeds, it ain't nothing but sugar, man. For real, it ain't got no nutrients like that. Only the most high can create a life, a nutrient. So nutrients and minerals and stuff is alive. And they activate when they're up in your body. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard of a water bell? A water bear? A tardigrade? A water bear. A tardigrade. It's a real little itty bitty thing. Little itty bitty thing. And you know what? You can't even kill it. It could, it could survive on the sun. It could survive in Antarctica for a hundred years and it'll activate. Look up tardigrades or water bears. I'm fascinated about little little bitty small things like microscopic things. They look like little bears too. You know what I'm saying? They good. Not too many of them though inside your body. These are one of the good bacteria you get. Water bears. You know candida kill water bears and stuff, right? The fungus. It actually kills everything. And you know that fungus is alive, right? Look up candida, man. Dig deep into this and you'll realize that the majority of Americans is starving. So when this dude is having mood swings and, and getting tired when you go to sleep from food, how the hell can you eat and then get tired if you're eating? And you're getting tired, that's a sign that you ain't doing something good. You ain't doing it right, man. Don't be out here starving, man. Feed yourself. Feed yourself some fruits and some vegetables and some nuts and some okra. Feed yourself some okra, man. You constipated? Feed yourself some okra, man. All that mucusy okra, okra stuff, it'll lubricate you, man. Get you some. Nectarines, man. Get you some whitey fish from the Muslims. They be selling some good fresh whitey fish. Get you a bean pie. I know it's a couple of little, probably some sugar, but the natural bean pies, man, they bomb. Get you some stuff. They got some life up in it, man. If not, you starving. The microwave burritos, man, you might as well be smoking a cigarette, man. I ain't lying. Wormwood, single retention, and body count. A lot of people starving, man. Be back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We out.